Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to Ascending Soul's Journey. I am Lorianne, here to give you the messages for September, and the message that's coming through for you guys is I, I'm actually seeing like these little stick people that are coming into reality. So for some of you, you are creating a brand new invention, a new something, something that you're gonna put out into the world, and others of you, you may be going through a transformation in your life or manifesting, bringing in a real person into your life. Whatever it is, we're gonna take a look at it. This is for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Scorpio. We're gonna look at career, finance, romance, uh, anything that comes through this reading, we're gonna capture it. The first half of the reading is more about your career, your education, and your foundational uh, area. And then we'll look at the love and relationship side on the second half of the reading. But this is for the full month of September. Now I am recording this on the 31st of August. And it does show that you are hard at work. And that's what I mean, you are hard at work. And in this card is showing somebody with their head down on any tarot card, the Eight of Pentacles is about putting your head down, focusing on what you have right in front of you. And we have an opportunity bringing in the Ten of Pentacles, and that's what I mean. This is like little stick people. This could be you creating a movie, you creating a cartoon, drawing something, writing something, or just simply learning how to manifest through your transformation through your own drawings of what you're doing, you know, expressing your own feeling. Whatever this is, is gonna lead you to a very beautiful uh, sensation, I'm hearing the word sensation, of having a strong foundation of you, underneath you, having the resources that you need, your credit cards paid off, the home you like, like, okay, I feel good, now I can move forward. You've been working really hard. This is a lot of work to get that kind of a Ten of Pentacles energy. Now, for some of you, this is getting that contract finally is going to hit and all that money is coming through. Maybe this is a group of you where you applied for the grants, the scholarships, or even in business, you applied for grants, right? Small business owner working hard, filling out every little detail, drawing stick people while you're waiting for this to come through. But whatever it is, is leading to something brand new and it has everything to do with your creative uh, abilities and the knowing, the inner knowing of how to create. Which is really great for those of you who are very spiritual and you are working on that part of your mind, body, and soul. Because when we're in balance, that's when we can make things, you know, kind of come into manifestation, right? We're stepping into that balance and we do have justice and we also have the Knight of Swords. Now, this can very well be coming out of a divorce and ending a contract with a company, with a person, with a situation. Meaning that the Knight of Swords can indicate an attorney, a lawyer, it can be the legal documentation and justice is about restoring the balance. This is the final decision through the court of law, through the final verdict, so to speak, and whatever's going on in your life. But with the Knight of Swords energy, this is also about getting on your horse and looking for the information that you need in order to complete this, all right? So that's looking for, how do I trademark this particular stick people? <laughs> okay, whatever it is. How do I solidify this to bring those pentacles down into your bank account, right? So it's, it's really doing the research. You gotta look through the law. You have to look on trademark. You've got to look, you know, and you can use that scenario, but create, you know, whatever's going on in your life, it's gonna apply to your situation. It isn't just somebody who's creating stick people drawings, okay? This is talking about you being able to take something in your head. And when we go through a transformation in Scorpio, you represent the death card. And the death card is all about transformation. So for this group of you over the next six weeks, you're gonna feel very impacted by what I'm talking about. And, and, and this could be finding the resources to go to college, finding the resources to, to bail yourself out of 
jail. <laughs> I just mean you're going to find the resources for whatever it is that you're trying to create. There's always an answer. There's always a solution, but only us with inside of us are we going to have the actual full inner knowing of what to do. And through this transformation, this openness, this illusional stuff that comes through this whole journey, that's when we see it. And we do have the chariot. And this is about you moving forward. So the second half, and remember I said for this group of you, this is like six week period of time. So in the second half of the month of September, rolling into October, you're getting ready to move forward. And this is about completing something that was very, very uh, time consuming. It took a lot of energy. It wore you out with the nine of wands. And the nine of wands is feeling, I did so much. You know, well, like when the world flipped upside down, everybody's going, whoa, when we're having to go through and fix our electronics and everything because they're changing the way that we run the world. So we have to get on board and make sure that we've got all our I's crossed and T's dot, uh, yeah, T's dotted and I's crossed. Let's reverse that, right? So through the transformation, we see how we're supposed to dot the I and cross the T. But during that time frame, it can be really chaotic and really confusing, making us feel a lack of energy, making us feel like, I don't want to do this anymore. You know what I mean? But this is actually really good because this is like a new birth in you. And with that new birth is a new burst of creative expansion. You have worked very hard for this. If this is writing a blog, if this is writing a magazine, for some of you, it is an actual magazine, probably online. The Nine of Wands indicates online communication, a lot of work. So don't worry about what you've done. You've done it right. Follow your gut. And if you need to, take that time to do that research, all right? And that's a very key uh, piece for some of you when it comes to this situation, this opportunity that's getting ready to fly and land right on your doorstep. But it may have just happened, all right? You may have just gotten that opportunity and now you're running around saying, okay, I need to bring these little people down. <laughs> now, when it comes to love, this is about some of you relocating, actually traveling to somebody who you do love. I feel for a lot of you, you know this person. It doesn't mean that you were ever in a relationship with them. But I feel for a group of you, whoever this person is, you do know them. And there is this, um, I really like you. So if this is somebody that maybe you went to school with in high school or college, it's that I really liked you back then. And maybe, maybe it can lead to this wedding. But you also have the card of pay attention to the red flags. Now, pay attention to the red flags can be negative and it can be positive. So for this group of you, you got two cards when it comes to the romance and the relationship sector. Remember, I'm talking about somebody coming back from the past. So if this is somebody that did you, did you dirty, you want to pay attention to your internal warning signs. As we go through this journey, you will come into contact with anybody who triggered you into this journey somehow, some way. Now it's up to you to be able to tap into yourself. How does this feel within me? Remember, this is a transformation. And for some of you, you're going to say, wow, this person actually did as much work as I did. You're going to feel like you're on the same page where I feel this sense of truth may be coming out. Now, they could have been in a relationship, in a marriage, in a contract of any kind, any type, not just romantic, any kind of contract that kept that love from showing up in your life. But with the Ace of Cups, this is all that cleansing and healing that I'm talking about. This isn't just a regular person, and I have a feeling for a group of you, this is an actual soul connection. Somebody you knew deep within you, this is the one. No matter what they're saying and doing, they're being a, do, you know, a not so good. I was going to say a not so nice word. And they're, they're not being very nice. But I know it. I can feel it. I can feel it inside of me. And it triggered you into this confusion, like how I intertwined, uh, mixed up those words, right? 
It creates an emotional fog where we don't quite get what we're feeling. It doesn't feel right on one side. We go into a split mind. And that's what that journey is where we're focusing on the soulmate, the four of cups. You were focused on this person. You see? You are bringing the stick people down, Scorpio. This is somebody you love. Oh my goodness. Pay attention to the warning signs because again, I feel this is a soul connection and you do, 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 do love them. So in the past, you may have been very uh, quick to say, I have unconditional love for you. Cross my boundaries. It's okay. And that caused you a problem in your finances, in your world, in your heart, just in your heart overall in general. But with this focus and determination, you also have the Seven of Pentacles analyzing the situation, how much you invested in them, how much they invested in you. And pay attention to the warning signs because there could have been some emotional manipulation. You've got the Seven of Pentacles and you have the Magician. And I felt the Magician, actually the energy of the Magician in the whole reading from the very beginning message I felt this uh, magician energy coming in. My dog's here. <laughs> He's going to knock the camera in a minute. But when we focus on to what we want, we can create exactly what I'm talking about. The magician bringing able to, when you're in alignment, you can manifest those stick people, this person, this relationship. This could be some of you, this could be a family member, a very authoritative type individual that you may have had some difficulties with, you know, uh, distance. I'm hearing the word distance. Now, distance can be physical distance and it can be verbal, a lack of communication going on. But whatever it is, there's this sense of re restoration coming back around again. And for some of you, it is going to lead to that beautiful relationship that you really thought you had with this person. But only you are going to know and only you can tap into your own intuition. So pay attention to all the synchronicities. They're saying not just your gut, but look around you. You're going to see a lot of synchronicities telling you what to do to manifest, to create this opportunity this experience it's going to be right for you now the card came out saying a happy move is in store for you and this is the right move for you and you are taking this creative idea from the ethers and you are bringing it down and you're putting it into the real world bravo because that takes a lot of work that takes a lot of effort so that puts this to shame and this is going to be a lot more than you could possibly imagine for those of you that this actually resonates with have an amazing uh, month of september subscribe and much love